hello everyone SOS fix we just received this iPhone 8 plus with no power the customer said he plugged it to the computer to charge then after a while he came to check the phone if the phone was off and the computer it has a blue screen nothing happened to the phone like any other damage so that's all he knows about it so we plug the phone to the charge and to the amp mirror the phone is completely dead it's a zero amp going to the phone so as all the customer uh, saying never did anything to the phone just stop working by itself so we take the phone apart and definitely there is some signs of the water damage You can see that line over there, the white line. That's a sign of the water damage as well. The mark water indicator on the board is pink. Definitely is a water damage. More sign of the water damage in the frame. Even there is a corrosion over there. Back of the board, more signs of the water damage more corrosion on around some components so in the microscope you can see clearly water damage over there in the corrosion so that's why we can't go with the customer uh, story we just have to check the device by ourselves so between the that corrosion with alcohol and the tube brush Yeah, the corrosion is make a conductive bridge, like can cause the shirt. And sometimes just cleaning the corrosion make make the device work again. So let's check the continuity, the this capacitor for shirt. Well, like all the metal or where to test the capacitor is completely gone the corrosion ate all the metal so there is no way to test this capacitor yep trying to check these capacitors and and they just broke off the board so they were like just Staring over there. So that's how is the easy to break off the the water damage component. So this capacitor did not test shirt, and that's giving you the idea. Like when you try to clean the the board from the corrosion with the brush, you use a little bit softer brush, but you don't want component to just knock out from the board so testing uh, the plates of that capacitor it's like a shortage to the ground so test the other capacitor same thing very low ohm over there in the diode motor Uh, this, I think this cap is in the VCC line, the same line as the, the other caps. So let's just take it out. Because uh, many times this capacitor is go bad, shorted, because the water damage. The enderfield glue, it's like hold the half of the capacitor. By using the solder iron, we can clear the other half. So we sure is nothing left from the bed capacitor. And even not like a little solder uh, bridge. No more shirt. 
So we're going to clean the, uh, the frame. And we put the board on the phone and hopefully it's going to work. Plug in it to the charge. It's taking almost 2 amp. That's a good change. Better than how it was before. So there is some apps going to the phone now. And there is the Apple logo. That's what we need. So let's finish the, let's wait the phone to finish booting. The chat screen work. We put the SIM card to see if the network works. But it's stuck at no SIM. Well, let's connect everything back and uh, we take out the SIM card and put it back because maybe there is a little bad connection from the water damage or be sure that all the connectors looks good. And we have the network. So that's all for this video and see you again.